Yeah. It is the 29th of February. And Mum is in an old fashioned shower cap. Welcome. Oh, try not to break the glass. Yes, welcome to the. Oh, I love that back place. Um, to the. Welcome on Saturday, the 29th of February, 2020. I haven't alerted anybody that I'm on or anything, but oh no, that's us. Hang on. Oh, are you working? Hang on, we need to do 20 Saturday, isn't it? There, a new perpetual desk calendar. Hey, hey Lex, hi Sarah. Weird child, no, this is the less weird one. Weird one is out with her friend in town, so um, should be safe. Well, of course she'll come in in one minute, but this won't take long anyway. Hi Daisy. Um, Yes, so I've been to a, a thank you, Joan. Hello, gorgeous. Particularly today. Um, I've been to a, a well, a new jumble in town that I hadn't been to before. It's not very far away, but it is all kind of it's near the hospital, so it's traffic's a pain. Uh, but you can park for free on a Saturday and um I hadn't been before, so I thought okay, but it was tiny. Um there was no jewellery. Well, there was just a little pot of plastic beads, that was it. Um, so I wouldn't been off going to something else to go to it again. Something's different. What'd that be? <laughs> um, but yeah, it was the usual, the regulars there, you know. Um, but if I, yeah, if I had nothing else on, then I'd pop over there. Um, yeah. So I spent less than five pounds, including entry fee. So it's very cheap. I haven't got that many things. Okay, see you later, Karen. <laughs> Crazy hat lady. This would do well in your on your little shelf, um, Karen. Yeah, so I got this. I got this um, vintage shower cap. I, I, it's not even. There's not even any resale value in it. But I just thought, oh my god, it's like a proper vintage. I remember my mum having something like this, like sixties, seventies shower. <laughs> Oh, it's the hat. I think it's actually damaging my skin. <laughs> oh, God, look how, oh no, that, I was thinking, look how red I am. But I also went as a model and had my hair dyed yesterday. Day before yesterday. So there's still, because uh, I went as a model, leakage. So it's not all from this. Oh, no, that is so. Look at that. Whoa. Anyway, yeah. So, and it had this paper plate inside it. So I assume it's never been used, but yeah vintage yes yeah, it's a bit of a vintage day actually mostly um not not many bits and bobs but i thought i would show you anyway because i kind of love it all um leakage yeah well then is that it mine because once i turn up in the playground my friend's like oh my god what they, who did this what have they done to you she's like trying to lick it off i was like it's fine just leave it and uh, she's like, oh my God, who did this with the one as model? It's like, it's fine, because said, it'll just come off in the shower and then um, at least it's gone down to the root. Hey, <laughs> I don't care. Um, hi, Mama Five Sons. Yeah, so only a few bits. And what the problem is, it's going to be, I'm kind of wrestling with myself at the moment because on the way back, I haven't got many bits. However, I could conceivably keep them all. Um, and... It's not, this isn't, this is, you know, I've got to remember, I kind of wanted to be a, I'd love to be a minimalist, but then it's whole, we're all made of opposites then, because I'd love to be a minimalist. At the same time, I love stuff. Oh, I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, stuff also gets under my skin. And on the way back in the car, I was, I was in my head, I had um, Carlito's Way, one of my favourite films, going on in my head. And when Al Pacino, tells Sean Penn he's a lawyer and he starts selling drugs and Alpine says to him you ain't a lawyer no more whatever his name is you're a drug dealer and in my head I'm going Shell you ain't a reseller no more you're a hoarder because that's how I feel at the moment like some I need some kind of intervention because I'm I'm getting bits and going oh well I'll, I'll have that anyway I'll just keep that anyway it doesn't matter um yeah, you're a hoarder. So I'll show you what I've got. Oh, a few bits of, I mean, there's fails in here as well, but geez, you know, I paid less than a fiver, so who cares? I put these up, which I didn't think are worth anything. 
little glass um, salt pepper pots. I don't know why. So it's like, I don't know, it's that sort of thing you'd have in a cafe, isn't it? It says, that one looks like it says bod on the bottom. 2292. Two, two. Oh, those two, yeah, those two match. Um, again, I was like, oh, we could, we could have a salt and pepper pot. We could have those. Um, one for eBay, one for Shelly, but it's more for Shelly than eBay at the moment, honestly. Yeah, so, but cute, aren't they? Cute, more glass. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a fail. This is a bit of a fail because lovely little bit of copper, um, but his little handle is um, coming away. And then I'm like, oh, lovely bit of copper though, isn't it? Oh, I could have it as a pen pot. I'll have it as a pen pot or something. Something can go, I mean, and I'm like, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> Hoarder. Hi, Christine. Hi, Monocle. I've just got a few bits here. Nothing in your league. How on earth do you, do you only sell stuff that gives you an amazing profit or do you only post on Insta the amazing profit stuff? Um, yeah, so, so I'm like, it's fine, we have that, right? Add that to my pile. God alive. Then I, I love a wee willy winky. And I did think, oh, hang on, where's this little handle? Um, and now I can see that's the, it's sort of, there's been some kind of repair there, hasn't there, or soldering where the handle has gone. But I love these as well with the kind of extender thing where you can push the candle up. Um, so then I'm like, oh, it hasn't got his handle. That's oh, not really worth. Well, we could have a candlestick. Oh, it's lovely. We have one. We have it on our, yeah, we have it on our table. And I'll get a nice, got some candles out there, got from the jumble. Another thing for us. Hoarder. Honestly, literally everything, literally everything. I might just go, oh, we'll just keep that. I only post the best bits. Oh, I love a wee willy winky, Lex. Um, I've got this little pot, which is just a silver plated dish i don't even know what that would that be for maybe for salt or something condiments um it's stamped tpns on the bottom which is electro plated nickel silver is it oh, i can't remember but it's, it's silver plate basically um and it's probably worthless um again i mean you know less than a five i spent on everything so but i'm like oh it's a cute little pot oh Oh, what have I got on my desk? I can just put something in it. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh look, that can just live in there on my desk. For God's sake, I can't even show. I can't even show you my desk, but it's littered with. Oh, that can just go on my desk. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, and then that's pushing stuff. Honestly, but this is that's just sort of how I work. Can you see all the crap on there? So that started off as a nice seventies. It's, it's so much so much of it just around and about around things that come back and I'm like oh yeah well that's how that started originally that son of a nutcracker I don't know why I'm showing all of this but it's, it's getting a bit out of, out of hand you know I'm somebody who doesn't like ornaments and it's lit it's littered it's littered still got a um valentine's card from You'll know that if you watch Stranger Things. Oh, it's just, it's embarrassing. But you stop seeing it, don't you? <laughs> Shelley has a huge collection of cocaine dishes. I love a little dish. I love a little dish. Oh, thanks, Christine. Hair's looking lovely. It will fade. It, I said to that to the hairdresser, actually, I said, it's weird how it starts off this colour and then it ends up kind of a gingery colour. And she went, oh, no, it shouldn't. I was like, well, it does. You know, I, I, look at it. It was dyed here. So, um, afternoon, Jason. I was just showing, did you see my brass candlestick that's missing its handle? So, another one for me. And a bit of copper that's handles buggered. So, honestly, I don't know what's going on. Oh, this is just, obviously tin it's got snow on it's only a biscuit tin it's got a scotty dog on it so i'll just use that for jewelry it's got robin on it i love robins for me another thing for me to use christine i bought a gorgeous nutcracker snow globe a couple of weeks ago i have too many already oh yeah i i i don't like ornaments i don't and yet there's a lot of things 
to look at around here. That's the only thing I can say. Then I got these very 70s, couldn't not get these, candle holders. Um, really, I think they're lovely. Again, we could keep these. I've got four of them because they're only probably worth a tenner. Um, the four together as a set. They do say stainless steel, but Danish. Um, stainless steel, Denmark. And it says something else on there. Lund Lundroft? Lundtoft or something. I'll just butcher that. But yeah, Danish stainless steel. Lovely though, aren't they? And they're little dinky, dinky, lovely, would look lovely somewhere. I, you know, nothing's going to get sold. It's... Yeah. And then, of course, there's the... Actually, I probably will sell this. Maud was after it. And then we looked at the price. She went, oh, no, you can have <laughs> um, this perpetual calendar. It's, only, it's like faux brass, faux onyx. Um, the ones I looked up seemed to go for 20 £25 pounds for shipping. One I looked up, one that had its box, I think it was a Stratton, it had its box, and for 50 quid, I was very, I, you know, probably paid about 10p for this today. Um, anyway, so yeah, might try and vlog that 20 quid. Um, mental. Then, yeah, two more bets. How is everybody anyway? How is your Saturday? Um, Connie had a sleepover last night. Our friends go and they were really well behaved. So we decided Friday night might be a great night for sleepovers because they actually went to sleep at a reasonable time. Whereas Saturday, they've still got all their energy beans, haven't they, that they've had all day and they're mental usually. Um, oh, hi, Sue. You're watching Let's Delicious. It's all right. It's being recorded. Um, yeah, so basically spent less than a fiver. Probably going to keep it all. So I, I'm not a reseller anymore. I'm I am a hoarder. Yeah, the calendar. Well, basically, was that in with my? I spent four pounds something, including getting in. Um, one guy charged me a quid for something, two bits. One guy charged me three for a load of bits, and then this. I know this was ten pence. Um, oh, loving the piece, Christine. Very nice. Oh, you went to a jumble this morning, Jason. Did you get anything? Um, hi, Lainey. Yes, yeah, so I would normally have ventured up to near Didcot Way to go to the bigger one. But because I'd seen when we were coming back from the airport last week, we drove past the hospital and this had their sign up, like that they had their jumble. So I thought, I'll go and check this one out because I'm not being poor. But I mean, it was really small, but the stuff, no, it's not even good as six. Half of it's broken. Well, the perpetual calendar's good. Oh, I don't know, I like it all anyway. And then a bit of enamel tin, which I love. I know it's all chipped and that's fine. I, that In that state is absolutely good for me because, again, because I like the way it looks. It needs a bit of a clean up. If, oh, Jason, can I put that in the dishwasher? It's tin. You'll be the man to know, won't you? Um, yeah, this was Tempe. Um, they have one handle, which is very weird, but look how I love it with the beaten up, you know, chips and the enamel. Very, very nice. So, yeah, that would look very nice on my chunky wooden shelves out there, wouldn't it? Another thing for me, hoarder. Um, Cheryl Chazran shaded at K. Oh, was that smaller bits then? Um, Jason, not much brass balance scales used as a planter. I like a bit of brass as well, as you well know. Um, indie listing stuff on personal account. Oh, yeah, £1 selling freeze weekend. I noticed that. Yeah. So, I mean, just lovely, isn't it? It's just shabby, chic. I don't like that phrase, but lovely. Um, and then the last thing, which, um, oh, this is the thing. This and the tin cost a pound. I love this again. I was just thinking the other day, I wish I hadn't sold my, I had a glass a bit like this. It was a bit like this one, but it had a, um, that pattern, the guillosh or whatever it is, top. And I kind of now wish I hadn't sold it because I love, look at that pattern, the, that feathery, I love it so much. 
and I was thinking, I love that pattern so much, I shouldn't have sold it. Again, because I'm a hoarder. Um, but this, yeah, I don't, can you appreciate the full amazingness of that? Well, you've probably seen these patterns, I love them. I don't know if it's pronounced guillosh or gillosh, because it's spelled like guillotine. So I don't know if you should anglicise it and say gillosh or guillosh, I don't know. Um, you had a blue one like this away. The tray, yeah, I, well, I had a quick look. So I'm like, obviously, for me, again, um, and they were, two have gone, I think they were about £25 per shipping, um, two different colours have gone, so I'm like, oh, it's glass, it's Art Deco, it's this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. Um, oh, God, but it's so lovely. Maybe I should find myself a pot with this pattern on, because that would be we can go with my pots, can't it? That's the bottom of it. Um, maybe it'll be easier to store. Because, I mean, this is a vanity tray, by the way, if anybody, if anybody doesn't know, so that you, you know, put your, well, like the pot that I sold would go on here and the little perfume bottles and what have you, but I just love this pattern. It just looks really French and Art Deco, doesn't it? Um, girl, should... Enamel, yeah, but what, how, but the thing is, oh, I'm going to get probably a voicemail from Lex later going, Giosh, <laughs> trying to tell me how to pronounce it. Um, Indy, at uh, Sarah, I've got some vision wear pans. People are into vision wear pans, aren't they? I don't cook, really, I just microwave. Um, am I missing something about vision wear? Oh, hang on, and Coflex, uh, Teflon, what, what? Oh, enamel is good at the moment. Everyone will chucking out Teflon because of the Dark Waters movie. Oh, I haven't seen that. From Sarah Resales, I've got rid of mine. People will swap to enamel and Pyrex. See, I love, oh, I love Pyrex as well. Um, I could easily fill the kitchen up. We might as well just get rid of all of our stuff that we use, and I could just fill the shelves up with tins and pretty Pyrex and... It's getting ridiculous. It's getting ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Brown girl, no, I, Cheryl, no idea how to pronounce. I'm from Yorkshire. <laughs> it's like, I think, uh, what was it? Um, he's from Malaga. <laughs> I think it's Guillaume. Yeah, so that would be like sounding the L's the French way. Um, oh dear. See you later, Joan. Since your grandson wants to play a game of chess. Oh, good, good. Don't let him win. <laughs> Teach him the right way. Um, yeah, so literally, I think I think I could literally keep everything. I I don't know what to I'm gonna oh God, I'm gonna be having nightmares. I'm gonna turn into Mr. What was it? Mr. Trimble. Mr. Trimble, I've forgotten his name. Mr that had all the newspapers piling up as you went in the hallway and you could just, just get it. Mr. Trebor, isn't it? Oh, no, I can't remember his name, the hoarder. Um, I picked up um, some, I don't know if it was a subscriber that bought them actually. So, do you remember, it was on my Insta, little yellow bowls that were gorgeous Pyrex that sold really quickly. Mr. Trebus, yeah, I, it's literally, I think my nightmares, my mum's a bit of a hoarder, and I, I've always been a not hoarder, but it's being around beautiful things, and that's the difference, because you can be a minimalist, but, well, then it's William, is it William Morris that said about, you can have things in your house, as long as they're either useful or beautiful, well, it is all beautiful, so then what do I do? Um, kept us in shite, oh God, um, I've, I've, I'll draw some lines. <laughs> But if I did, I'd keep it, I'd keep them on this. Um, Mr. Trebus, yeah. Was he happy? Maybe he's happy living like that. Um <laughs> Lonely, I remember him didn't he used to chase people waving his walking stick? Was that someone else? I don't know. Um, I think he was quite nice, Mr. Trebus. Christian have too many things and stuff. I'm really not this way inclined, but it's it's really it's. I think it might be becoming an issue. But uh, maybe if I, oh gosh, maybe I try and sell. I know what I'll do. I'll get a guillotine pot before I part with 
because then I started thinking, oh, I could get a pot to match this, and then I could get the, I actually love that green glass that you get on the um, dressing table, you know, sets. But then you're just going to have to dust it, aren't you? Which is such ridiculous. And I don't even have a dressing table. It's stupid, but I like it. It piss in milk bottles. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> um, India will be dead, found dead one day under a pile of curtains. Oh, gee, don't. It's not even. I'll be found dead under a pile of jewellery. Yeah, didn't even get any today, but. Oh, God. Oh, so maybe, <laughs> death by curtains. So maybe, maybe this is a thing. Maybe. Actually, I bet most resellers, I know a few that are also collectors or started as collectors. And most of the time, I'm happy just to have handled something and think, right, that's really nice to have dealt with that. And now it goes to its new home, but it's stopped. I've started keeping things. And in fact, I decided there's so many brooches that I like myself. There's so many starting to build up in my little pots on my desk that I'm not even listing. That I thought, oh, maybe I'll just use one of those pots that I've got the brooches in for my brooches, like a collection. Oh, my God. Crossing a line. Is it guillotine, though, or is it that plastic stuff that looks the same? Well, the... Oh, I don't know. The It's in glass... And it's a bit, what's squeosh actually made for? Oh, that's enamel, is it? Because this is glass. Yeah, that's glass. In fact, actually, there's some writing. Oh, no, that's just scratches. And it, it, I'll tell you what it looks like. It does actually look a bit wavy, like maybe that it's not, that it's, that it's paper in there. But it is glass. Strangled by a choke necklace. Oh, man. Yeah, so I've got a bit of a challenge on today as well. Well, it's not anything I can do about it. But following the amazing success of the Harry Potter book, usually, I don't, well, I think I've spoken before, I'm normally aiming, if I get, you know, get a grand profit out of eBay for the month, then, you know, I go, okay, job done. Um, but because of the Potter book, um, I am hoping if I can do, I think, another £80 now of profit today, then I'll make 2K profit in February, which would be a nice little landmark. I usually hit that about once a year in Q4. I don't know what everybody else aims for, what they hit, but that's quite a landmark for me, so I'm really hoping for that. Um, what is that, Daniel? Sue just watched a French boat showing how to pronounce Giosh. It's... Oh, guilloche, guilloche. I would never have got that. So it's like an accent on the E, is it? Guilloche. I feel like a twat saying that. I think I've just it with guilloche. Um, oh, Christine bought a shed load of brooches to make into a Christmas tree framed on a velvet back end to hang at Christmas. Wow. Oh, you're a crafter, are you? But am I ever going to have enough? Oh. Do you need like diamondy sparkly things? Because I um, have, I mean, I just sort of trying to flog off broken jewellery. And I, look, I know there's lots of sparkly stuff in there. Would that be of any use to you? Because I can just send it to you. <laughs> oh, Anglo shit from Daniel E. Brick trash. What this? Um, or are you talking about my accent? Oh, you can never do it. It's more the question. I think most are plastic on eBay, but sold as guilloche. Yeah, with, yeah, the ones that have sold look basically exactly like this, but what's inside can be plastic, because this is definitely glass that's in here. Um, yes, yeah, sparkly bits. Oh, message me on Insta. We're on Insta, aren't we? Yeah, we are, aren't we? Um, I can always send you a picture and give me your address, and I can send you some sparkly bits. And I've just got some massive sparkly bits. I'll just keep holding this up. Um, yes, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick one. I don't know how long that was. Oh, I do. Just under 25 minutes. That's okay. Um, God, yeah. Issues, isn't that? Issues.
So you can get a tray like that sometimes in two for two china sets. It's this pattern that I like though, um, this Art Deco vanity pattern, vanity, God's sake, dressing table vanity set stuff that I like. Yeah, um, so yeah, may the sales be with you on our extra day of Feb Feb February. Yeah, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for another 80 today. And then, uh, well, I'll let you know on Monday, actually, because I'll do, I did a post just for, on the way to the jumble about lunchtime. It's a keeper, yeah. And I'll I'll let you know on Monday if I achieve the 2K in February. Watching Lex next, yeah, I need to see the um, the filler, the filler thing. Um, thank you for joining me, 25 people. Um, <laughs> You're just gonna have to tidy up, so I'm sorry. Uh, I think I've got to help more do a nana cake. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, what's that? Oh, is, da is Daniel friend or foe? I, I'm, I'm really gullible, so I'm a bit um, stupid. <laughs> stuff like that oh yeah that's all right sarah um yeah have a lovely day and what was i going to say oh yeah if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it hit the subscribe and ring the little bell and i can see you on monday bye bye have, bye. Good, have a good weekend oh okay thanks laney i have no idea i have no idea i'm really